milligram in a pound. It's 22 pounds. <laughs> because who's crazy enough to order 22 pounds of rice? <laughs> We're gonna start calculating the scale of crazy on a poundage level versus a quantity level. So instead of titling this video, Open 22 new horses with me. We're gonna title this video Open 22 Pounds of Briars with me. <laughs> I can't believe it. So the story goes that this girl in Canada actually had these guys for sale. I said, How big of a box do you got? And here we are. This is essentially a moving box. The bigger the box, the actual cheaper the shipping is, which is ridiculous, but that's just how it works. 22 pounds of briars. Let's go. She threw in a couple extra things, but I don't fully know, I don't fully remember what's in here. This is psycho, this is psycho. First horse. This one I needed for a custom idea that I have. I'm gonna just start like setting them in a row over here. Oh my god, he's missing an ear. This is American Saddle Red. I've always wanted to customize one of these. I guess essentially I should state that this is a box of bodies. So all of these models are in damaged condition. Next one. Oh my god. This horse is Cleveland Bay, but this is the Tumbridge Wells Briarfest 2012 special run. And this horse is actually like significantly worth a lot of money like a lot of people wanted him I don't really care for this mold in general I find it kind of clunky and kind of awkward but I do think it makes good drastic interestingly enough there is a seam line happening I didn't actually know this this is like the bald mane version he has a seam line where the like ears have been put on so normally he would have a forelock but they've like seamed in the ears that's super interesting so that's him like... ah, I'm most excited about this one I love this horse so much. This is Stormy. There's a lot of flaws on this mold, but I've really wanted to customize one to like a scruffy looking little foal in like the same pose. Oh. She sent me two. What? <laughs> I didn't order two, but I have two. Sato. This is Cigar. I really like the sculpture as well, and I wanted to do some customs. Wow! This is Aintree. He's a Briarfest 2012 special run. This is a really nice model done by Briar. I really liked this special run. I have one. So it's sad that he is scuffed up and he will be like a body because he's actually quite nice. Oh my gosh. Bro. Then we have Fox Valley Oliver who is on the Draft Horse Spudsdale mold. This is the Hackney Pony. <laughs> kind of a weird mold. I actually haven't seen one in person, so I want to do something like fun, I think, on this mold. Make it like a whimsical custom versus just a normal custom. Sham! The Arabian. I like this mold as well. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of good happening. I'd love to just revamp him a little bit, make him a little more true to life, but really just leave his hair as is, because I've always loved his hair. The shambles has some whimsy to it. Smart Chikulina is the next guy, and he's missing an ear. It's like hard to remember what exactly I have purchased here. <laughs> okay, so this is Black Tie Affair. And depending on his condition, which is actually okay, I think I'm gonna keep him like as OF. His peg is stuck. But I, I've grown to like this model for some reason. So I'll probably keep him and I'll customize the Huckleberry Bay I already have. So that's the only one that I bought with like intentions of keeping him OF. Mama Misty! So that's the mom to the baby. Also a cute mold. I'm really excited about this one. I wanted to work on this as a custom for a very long time, but this is the Andalusian stallion mold. He has etching on his belly, and they etched in little eye whites on his eyes. It's Krypton Senai on the Andalusian mold. I just want to paint this horse to something really fancy. Probably just like a crazy buckskin, actually. Oh yeah, this is the next 
one. I'm always excited to add more of these to my collection. So this is Solinero. So I have another one because I love this mold, but he is painted with a lot of acrylic. Oh yeah, I, I'm totally like blanking on who I got here. This is another one that I kind of just wanted to try and play with, have a little bit of fun. Uh, it's the Rejoice mold. This is Roxy, so I got another Roxy. I like the mold too, I like the pose of the mold. Oh gosh, she sent me this one. Why you send me this one? This is a surprise, this isn't one I ordered. Does he stand? Because mine never stood. Oh my god, he does stand. He did say she threw in some stuff, so. She threw in another one? Why so many stormies? <laughs> she just had like a herd of stormies and was like, here, have them all. He's actually cute. He's like orange. Uh, I love this Starmie mold though. That's fun. I'll have some fun with that. And I can do a couple cuties. It's like a surprise, man. I don't know what I'm going to get. Oh my god, she sent me this one. Except he's like super bunged up. Ugh, this is what I need for my collection, but I need him in like good condition. Maybe this could be my restoration project. Maybe I can restore this horse. That's genius. Oh yeah, this is so fun. It's so fun when you don't remember what you bought. This is Belle on the Indian Pony Molds, another mold that I've wanted to work with. Oh my god. Who the heck is this? Oh my god, she sent me it. I was gonna buy this one and then I was like, I don't know, Wixom is just so giant. I hate Wixom because she's so giant. Now I have a Wixom. <laughs> but maybe we can do something fun with her. That's it. Those are all the surprises. So wait, how many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So I actually only thought that I was getting 16 horses. There's 23. And this is the finale. This is not a Premier Club horse. Don't get excited. <laughs> That's way too much fun. So this is Briarfest 2009. It is party time in the frolicking gray shire, and it is a porcelain horse. So you can hear, it's porcelain. He's literally almost perfect. He's just missing his ear tip, and I'm thinking that I might redo him. Pretty nice paint for what he is, actually. That's pretty crazy, because he was like 20 bucks, and I don't normally collect porcelains, but I did. So there we have it, my entire herd. <laughs> I'd say that's a pretty good haul. So that's what 22 pounds of models looks like. And now I have 20 pounds of bubble wrap. All I'm gonna do is pop all this bubble wrap right back where it came from, and call it a day. That's what model people do. We hoard all packing, because you can use packing for literally anything. This has been DJB, thank you so much for watching, and happy growing your body collection so that you can say happy customizing. <laughs>